back another time, he says. Who does he think he is? Fuck you. I lived in total seclusion up in the mountains for 30 years. I'm going to, to clean up at some super cotta shows with the dance move I came up with. You were gone for 30 years up in the goddamn mountains and all you came up with was a dance move. Am I gonna do the contest now? Nope. I think I'm actually gonna wait until end game. Until I have my team situated, until I know who I'm gonna use in which contest and shit like that. I went for a stroll in the midity squ square with my Pratcherisi today. We came across a cute sticker while we walked. Do you think placing this on my Pachirisu's ball capsule will make my Pachirisu look even cuter? I'd like to live in Hartam City, but when I get uh, when I get married, but my boyfriend wants to live in Veilstone because of its department store. To be honest, both of those kind of feel like female things because women always want to buy shit. And why? Why Twitch? Really? I just got an email that like Angry Joe is live streaming and now I get one that some call me Johnny is live streaming. I've never gotten an email from Twitch about that crap. Now now Twitch is like, oh hey, maybe I don't watch their streams, okay? I mean, I might tune in from time to time, but I'm not a stream watcher. They're saying that, that Jim Leader Fantina is not around. She must have heard I'm around and chickened out. Hello, do you want a puff in case? If you haven't got one, you really must visit the Pokemon Fan Club. Have you seen the glo the globe at the W uh, G W S? Is in, in Jubilee City? What is the G W S? G T S. It's so awesomely awesome. I can't really explain it well, but it's downright wicked. And by the way, playing this game indeed does bring back some good memories, some fond memories. Not, not this game, but like, I mean, hearing the music, the Pokemon cry, seeing the region in a sense, like, ah, Platinum. Oh shit, wait a minute. Okay, so it's lying here, you're good. Wah. Anyway, uh, I was looking for something, by the way. Um, everyone's healed, right? Yes, Gulan is healed. Alright, give me that Eevee. I want that Leafy on in my party today. You, Eevee, now. Hiya. Oh, I've seen you around, seen you somewhere before. Where was it again? Hold on, it'll come to me. Oh yeah, you're the one who was battling those scary looking guys in Jubilee City. I was really curious about you after that, so I went ahead and did a little research. And then, surprise, surprise, turns out you're connected to the famous Professor Rowan. And you've been going around defeating gym leaders too? I seriously thought my eyes were gonna pop out of my head. Oh sorry, there I go, running my mouth again. It's me, baby. You remember me, don't you? No. I'm the one who gave you those ball capsules. And hey, you know those Pokemon boxes you've been using? I'm the system administrator of them. My buddy Bill developed the basic storage system. I just think her with it here and there. To make it easier to use. Anyway, now that you're here in Heart Home City, how about trying out a super contest show? Be sure to get the, to use those stickers of yours, don't you dare forget. Ah, fuck, that's all she says. No Eevee, no free Eevee. God damn it, my Leafeon will never be, you know, appearing. There are just so many stickers to place on ball capsules. Can't decide wh what I should use. Um... We'll do a midity square later. We'll probably spend an entire video on that one. But now we're just gonna talk to the people of Heart Home City. For 20 minutes or so. Depending on course how long this is gonna take. For a video, I guess. Kufu, Kufu. When I grow up, I want to become a Pokemon coordinator. Good for you, kid. Babies and Pokemon get along perfectly together. When babies take naps, Pokemon go to sleep right next to them. How nice. Well, now you're a trainer that makes you both Papa and Mama to your Pokemon. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know how having Pokemon around you leads to new discoveries? It's the same for parents and kids. I'm always learning new. learning from my kids, whatever. When I get bigger, I'm going to be a trainer too. Oh wow, you're a Pokemon trainer. Having lots of Pokemon around is a lot of responsibility, but it also comes with a lot of fun, does it now? My sister gets. 
Uh, my sisters get all the attention. No one even notices me. Bye. I kind of know how you feel, but not like from your from parents or something like that, but like from like people around you. What? I was about to say I've been mashing the A button and holding up, and I can't go. I couldn't go anywhere. Ready then, see what we have here. All my grandchildren are cl clamoring for Pokemon of their own. It may be tricky to manage it, but it will brighten up the mood more. Heart Home is a kid friendly city, they say, but I disagree. Heart Home City is friendly to kids, grown ups, and Pokemon too. The hell's that? A world in which people are co compassionate to others? That's all that matters to me. No, give me that fucking... What did you catch? Why? None other than a mighty... F Wait, what? Mighty fine Cricketune. Nice one, Shadow. That's a... One slick takedown. The Pokemon was nabbed with an expertly thrown Dusk Ball. What? And you... Out of one used... It was the very last one. Lame joking aside, we're talking about one great trainer in Shadow. Oh, hang on. I've got a hot up new update. We just got told... What Shadow named it got Cricketune, that nickname's Melody. Yo, Shadow. You're the last word in cool. You're so cool, you're absolute zero. Oh. I, I don't know if that's a compliment or not, and I didn't know they were gonna talk about me, but I saw a gigantic Galactic Team Galactic sign. Anyway, listen up, Fox. You go out and emulate Shadow. Get out there and catch Pokemon like there's no tomorrow. Stickers Club show. Joining us is our guest once again. Is that Sticker Master? Greetings. Today we examine a ball capsule crafted by Shadow. Hmm. What the fuck is this with me? How do they have this information? The the trainer paid attention to the fundamentals in applying the dot. Shadow's m meticulous sense of craftsmanship is obvious. And inside this ball's capsule is... What's this? This cranidose? Oh. That's Shadow. Well done indeed. There you have it. Even our sticker master is satisfied to see Shadow's ball capsules challenge the trainer to a battle. <laughs> Let's meet again. Same time. Channel, same time. We bring you this breaking news story. While traveling in the vicinity of Route 207, Shadow discovered a hidden rare candy. <laughs> <laughs> How do they know, my friends? How do they know? How do these people know that I what I do? The meth methodology? What? I do have no idea what that word is, what it means, or how to pronounce it. Employed by I mean I kind of feel like I know what it means, but yeah. Employed by Shadow is unknown. Eyewitnesses report Shadow appeared. To be very furtive? That one I actually have no idea about. Shadow reportedly scanned the area often as if fearing the Wait, did they talk about the rare candy that I just walked up to, picked up, and then fucked off? You mean the, you mean uh, there's like a on route Route 207 is the one like above Orberg, right? Below like the cycling road. And then like to the side where you go over to Mount Coronet. You go like down, and then there's a trainer there you can battle, a youngster, whatever the fuck he is, it's running around. Then you go up the stairs, and since they go up the stairs again, there's a hiker. But then next to the hiker, there's like a like a dead end in that sense, and that's where I think I found a rare candy. And I, is that what he's talking about? Shadow poorly scanned the area often, as if fearing detection. But I never scanned the area once, I knew where that fucking thing was to begin with. This concludes this special news story. Thus, changing nicknames, change attributes, we decide for you. It's time for rate that name change once again. In the spotlight today is the trainer Shadow's Boneri. Shadow chose the nickname SEXY! Let's get an expert assessment from our appraiser. How is... How is it? Wait, I... I uh, what? How... How should I say this? Fine, I'll be blunt. The nickname Sexy is magnificence itself. Sexy will be most certainly will most certainly become more 
uh, arom aromatic aromatic I don't know but it comes to at a price shadow will be mired in bogs shadow changing your Pokemon's nickname was a great idea sexy is going to become more ar aromatic I don't know how nice oh but beware if you ever traveled the to the Great Marsh. Until next time, farewell. We visit Veilstone's department store. You're guaranteed to find smiles. Add your smiles. New pocket chaps available. Drop a pocket. Our peace for your world, Team Galactic. Enjoy relaxing time in the Immunity Square. It's preserved it's from the Great Marsh. Find the no, I couldn't. I don't know. I don't know what they talked about. I don't know what they said about me. I have to go back into the recording just to figure out what the fuck they said. Come on, give me, give me my. But but yeah, how the fuck? Then oh no, there are no stairs in this house. It's easier that way. The lack of stairs makes it easy for the little Pokemon to get about. Um, not necessarily. I mean, what if there's a fire and the elevator don't work? But yeah, how do they know? How do they know what I do? I caught a cricketune in a dusk ball, and it, they say it was his last one. Motherfucker, I had five of those fucking things. I had six of them, I think. It wasn't my last one, so that's already f fake reporting. I was given a TM for strength at the last hour. Last hour is on Route 209 on the way to Salation Town. I know where it is, shut up. But yeah, what the hell? How did they know? When I take my baby out on his, in his stroller, I see the town in a different way. I notice things like stairs and bumps in the sidewalk. A pop pop poo A pop. Are you one of those like fucking uh, uh what are they called? Those red idiots from G uh, Dragon Ball GT. Ah, I forgot their names. I think you people might know who I'm talking, who I am referring to, but you know those like uh, oh, they can't, they dance around a lot. I remember that shit. Yeah, they were in GT. Ah, oh, fuck. They were red. They had, like, blue faces, I think. They wore, like, a red outfit. Like, I don't know, fucking red jumpsuit or whatever. And then, like, had, like, blue faces. I have something for your moment all. Take this shell bell. Thanks. Cool. Also, I think I'm actually gonna do something. Yeah! Just... I want to feel like the fight. I don't know. Let me just... There we go. Trying to adjust my chair is a bit of an annoyance, I think. Anyway, people all over the world follow super contest shows. What should I do? I should captivate the world. There are the super contest shows, then we have Admitity Square, we have visitors from all over the place. So we need to keep looking, uh, keep the city looking nice. I don't know why, but I became super tired just now. No, that's not unsavory dead, shall we? Pokemart! I kinda wish I could fight the gym leader here so I could actually have some goddamn. Um, Super bells. I've heard there are lots of stickers to be found. Someone told me the, that you can find some in a midded M um, Amity Square. There you go. I like to buy the revive, the item revive, but they won't sell it to someone with only two gym badges. The nerve of them! Wait, I have two gym badges. <gasps> I need revives in case I'm an idiot again, but uh, the hell, why are you selling nest balls? Fuck's wrong with you people? I'm on five. And just in case I run out of Pokeballs. How about two new repels? I think that's good to go. I don't think I'll use a single repel today though. I would like to sell some stuff. I have a Pokeball to sell and that's it. I'm never gonna do that. I'm never gonna do the odd keystone bullshit. I'll probably drop it, but like... I used the water stone to, on my Pokemon and it evolved! What kind of fucking Pokemon do you have? I don't think there's a Pokemon in the game that evolves to water stone. 
I can feel the baby Snorlax getting heavier each ev and every day. I wonder what kind of Pokemon my child will become friends with first. Trubbish. The fuck's a trubbish? All oh, right, yeah, you. Ah, puffin place. Have you got some berries to make delicious puffins? The key ingredient is a rare berry. Also, puffins will come out yummy if you cook berries as quickly as possible, but will, but still slowly enough that you don't spill the. What? Eating uh, good po food makes people in Pokemon more energetic and happy. In that sense, we are exactly, we're exactly alike. Hi, right, let's get cooking. Here's my advice on cooking tasty puffins for your Pokemon crew. In the beginning, while it's still a batter, swirl it gently and avoid spillage. When it starts to harden, churn it fast in big circles. At the end, make a wish for it to turn scrumptious and whirl it. Make a wish? What the hell is wrong with you? I can't even do this yet, because I first need to go to the Pokemon Phantom Club. I talk to you. Yeah. Alright, we talked to everyone in this, uh... Except for people here. Yo! Hello, I'm at, uh, I'm at Jubilife TV. I have a complaint. How the hell are you people following me? May I hit you up for a quick interview? Sure. Thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. Your cranny dose is quite appealing, isn't it? May I have your comment on your cranny dose? I see, I see. Thank you very much. We'll be featuring this interview at a later date. Please tune in. I didn't... I can't even fill it in. What the hell? Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, you're screwed on. It's feeling natural towards you. It's up to you to change that. Oh, wait. Hold the phone. You do happiness kind of shit. Tell me how my sexy's feeling towards me. It's warming up to you. That's my impression. Okay. Come on, there you are. Come here. Get down here! You, come here! Lynx, what are you doing here? Oh, my boy, he loves me! Oh, my boy, he loves me! Fuck you. Okay, so when they... Whatever. Hello, hello, how do I... How I say do you do? I am the Pokemon fan club chairman indeed. Yes, I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say do you do? If I may say so and I will, I feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why I say would I do that? Because the given Poffins... The giving of puffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet puffin to the Pokemon eating it, eating it would become more cute. For example, spicy puffin will add the, to the coolness of a Pokemon. How do I increase sexiness? In such ways, I say that puffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this puffin case to be a gift from me to you! Thank you, sir. I shall hold on to this for dear life. I urge you to fill it with puffins and be generous in dispersing them into your Pokemon. Dispensing them. Dispersing them. I don't fucking know. Anyway, we're gonna make a pop, couple of puffins and I think after that I'll cut the video like after that. And then we're gonna go over to Amidity Square and then we're gonna go over to the contest hall and then we're gonna call the day. I think. Hello! Here you may cook berries and turn them into puffins. Tell me about the cooking. Throw the berry into a pot and get stirring. Watch this for an arrow to show you which direction to stir. Be quick. If you stir too slowly, you'll burn the batter. But not too quick. If you stir too fast, the batter will overflow. If you do well, you can cook up delicious puffin. By the way, you can also make puffins at the mi at Mindy Square. I like to cook. Tell me about it. Let me just toss some berries on in here. I need some berries. It's something I have like a lot of. Ooh, I got a couple of like raspberries. I got some petra berries that I could toss in. No, wait. Yes! But I could do eight. Alright, how does this work? I'm gonna toss these bad boys in here. Let's make some puffins! I am a master chef! Oh, 
Oh shit, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh god, oh god. Ah. Oh. Alright, good tempo, good tempo, good tempo. Oh, oh, oh. Other way, other way, other way, other way, otherwise it will burn. It was like if it starts to harden, I didn't know. It said like if it starts to harden, you gotta like do it like super fast. So I went super fast. No! Ah, oh, my god, my fucking thumb slipped. God damn it! Faster, faster, faster. I think it started to harden. It became a metapod. Yes, Master Chef. Let me see. It took me a minute. Burn throat once. I gotta. F you put away the fat in the bath again. But like, no. Okay. Um. Who do I hate? Oh my god, I made four foul pop. What did I do? The smoothness is. Give it to someone. Ah. Um. Pfft. I have no idea what to give this to. <laughs> Who am I definitely? Are hey, you? Foul Boffin. I have a burnt Boffin. <laughs> Holy crap. Beauty was enhanced. Cuteness was enhanced. Alright. <laughs> it does like everything. But it sucks. Because I burned it three times. I didn't know what to do with it. So my bad. Maybe I'll cut the video like after I give these stupid fucking shitty pop. Also, is there a limit to this? Because I remember that being a pain in the ass in in the original games, where it's like you uh, you can you only have a limited amount that you can do, and you need to have this. You basically need to get one stat to max. It's like oh, you can only do that. In a oh yeah, you do have a max. I see that Sheen over there. That Charlie Sheen bullshit. No. That Charlie Sheen crap just ruins it all. Wait, Ferno, you level 27? My boy, I haven't even been using you. I think the last time I used you... Might have been against Jupiter, but I don't remember. Favorite food eats anything. Yeah, even my foul boffins. Alrighty then.